Hey guys, it's TK. This is an XDA app review of the Sea Widget and the Sea Locker applications. The applications themselves are available in the Google Play Store, and what they bring to the table is a better experience for you on your stock Samsung or HTC device when it comes to your stock lock screen on your home screen or your lock screen on your device. Let's check it out. <laughs> Will posted an article on the XDA portal referencing the major update to the C Locker application and the C Widget application for from XDA senior member Estancia. If we open up the thread, we'll see that the current versions that of the applications are 2.3.2 for C Locker, 2.4.1 for C Widget, both available on the Google Play Store. Or if you'd like to download the free version of the application, they're available in the thread as well. This is the uh, free version available on the Google Play Store. You're also able to upgrade to the pro version on the Sea Locker application for an additional fee. This is the Sea Widget free, also again available on the Google Play Store, as well as there's an option for a pro version to be able to customize it even more. Simple interface. Available in free and pro version on the Play Store. The current version is 2.4.1 and requires Android 2.3.3 and up. The free version looks good, but the Pro will allow you to customize the app even more. You can add the widget and you will get the option to set it up before you save it to your home screen. Now what you can set up right now is the display, the text, the color of the widget, the shortcuts to be able to launch from running those applications, and the interval of how often your data is refreshed. The weather is set up from the top and you're able to set up the information from there. Looks good. You can actually put it on your home screen, resize it depending on your launcher, and you should be able to enjoy it. The interface is clean and simple. It's available free and pro version on the Google Play Store. The current version is 2.3.4 and requires Android 4.0 and up. This app is good in the free version, but the pro version gives you so many more options as far as gestures, the ability to move and set up your volume rocker on the application, that it begs to differ why it's not just available in pro. You need to turn on the application and disable your normal lock screen. This is in order so that you don't have two lock screens running on the, on the device at the same time. What you can set up currently is, you can set up the display as to what the information that you'd like to show up in there, uh, the, the settings and all of that. You can set up the clock as far as what options in there as well, uh, where these, you know, the fonts and so on. You can set up the apps for the shortcuts themselves. You can also set up uh, the setup uh, where in other settings you get the option to set up the vibration as to when, you t when you're touching the different uh, icons, it just gives a little bit of a vibration for you. The, under the volume rocker and the gestures is where some of the main meat of the pro version comes in. It, you're able to set up uh, the ability to control applications using a, uh, the volume rocker while the application is asleep or your device is asleep or turn on start music and skip music while you're using it that way. The gestures are very nice, you're able to set up, and I'll show you guys a little bit on that. But last but not least, you get the ability to set up the calendar and the weather and the RSS feeds, and those are available on the top and in the left area. Now, you just need to turn off your device and wait and turn it back on. And you can see that the, the interface is very nice. Hope you guys like this. The applications are very nice. They install very quickly and setup is pretty simple. The C widget application is a very nice replacement to your stock weather widget, uh, weather slash clock widget, depending on the device you have. If you have Samsung or HTC, you probably have those weather widget with the clock in them. Um, you don't have the ability to customize them that much. As far as the stock Android device, you probably have just a clock and then you're able to basically add that to your home screen. So either way, it's a very nice application from the sense of just aesthetics as well as the ability to customize. The locker application, is, I think, shines out of the two in the sense that you're able to have so many more options outside of just your standard lock screen. Now, this does require Android 4.0 or higher. On Android 4.2 or higher, you do have the ability of customizing your lock screen, but again, you're adding multiple screens, you're doing other things outside of just customizing the main screen itself. And I find the ability to add multiple apps in there, uh, as well as be able to customize them and change them, uh, the ability to add gestures, volume rocker options are very nice. And for the premium fee, for just going to Pro is not that bad. Check out the application, let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. I'll leave some information for you guys in the description below as well. If you guys are going to go to the XEA DEF CON this weekend, please have fun. And uh, as far as I know, some of the XEA developer uh, TV members are going to be there. So definitely check it out. Say hi. And I will see you guys next week. Oh, and don't forget, like and subscribe to this channel and like and subscribe to my channel. See ya.